Can I get away? Ask me to turn your Bibles, the book of Mark chapter 7. Mark chapter 7, that's your stand you have. Mark chapter 7 this morning. <coughs> Mark chapter 7. Mark chapter 7. Mark chapter 7. You got it? Say amen. amen. You ain't got to say hold on. Mark chapter 7, verse 6. He answered and said unto them, Well hath the sight prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, the people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, God right now, Lord, as we God bow before you. God, we ask you is all you can do. God, to search our hearts. God, search our minds. Search our souls, Father. If anything in our lives, God, is not pleasing you. God, I pray you reveal it to us, Father. Help us, God, to confess it, Lord God. Get it out of our lives, Father. We can have joy, God. We can have peace, Lord God. It only comes from you and you alone, Lord God. I pray if any of us is lost, God, any of us is undone, Father. <laughs> Without you and your son, God, this be the day, this be the hour, this be the time, God, Lord, that you save them, Lord, for it's everlasting too late, Lord. God, I pray all you can, God, that you forgive me, Lord, all my sins, all my mistakes, God. Hide me behind your cross, all you can, God. Lord, lead God in directing this. How much time we have left, Father, I pray that you speak, God. For we stand in need, and we love you, and we thank you in Jesus' name. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Walk across the aisle, shake somebody's hand, say, Good to see you.
Matter of fact, the way a man or woman feels about somebody can change just like that. Your heart, love, you have told somebody can change just like that. But I posed the question this morning. Right now, this very second, where does your heart really lie? We know in Jeremiah 17, he said, Above all things, the heart is weak. Who can know the heart except the Lord? We all know that evil starts in the heart. Hatred starts in the heart. Yep. Weakness starts in the heart. Gossip starts in the heart. Yep. All things not of God start in the heart. So right now, where does your heart lie? Here in this passage of scripture, Jesus is talking. You know, it's funny that every time that Jesus talked, he always had those that showed up that doubted, that scoffed, that mocked, that would come in and try to disprove him. And, and the scripture said it. That is, Jesus sat down with all of them. The Bible said, verse 1, Then came together unto him the Pharisees and certain of the scribes which came from Jerusalem. Talk about the fool because Jesus could draw a crowd. Right. I'm talking about a real move of God can draw a crowd. Yeah. That's right. I'm not talking about a little fly by night thing that you have, uh, the way you get pat on back, don't have good. I'm talking about a real move from a holy God would draw a crowd. Yeah. Because people want to know, they want to see, they want to experience what's going on. I dare say in 2016 going into 2017, the thing that the church today is lacking is a real move of God. Because we come together because it seems like the thing to do. We come in lost, we leave lost. We come in broke down and leave broke down. We come in bad and leave bad. Come in sad and leave sad. Why? Because we have not experienced a real move of God that changes things. Because the real move of God, you might come in bad, but when God shows up, you'll leave bad. You might come in with your feelings, but you won't leave them. You might come in lost, but you won't leave lost. You might come in with hate in your heart, but you won't leave with it in your heart. A real move of God. That's why I probably scare most of us today. Because a real move of God would affect you and change a lot of things about all of us. A real move of God. A real move of God. Not one you see on TV. I'm talking about a real move of God. A real move of God that cannot be explained. It's just got to be experienced. Yes. Now we went down to the Restoration Church many years ago. They put on this play. And, and man, all kinds of people got saved. And they were jam-packed. They were teeth to go. It went on for months and months and months. And they sold videos of it. I said, I've got to have me a video of it. Bought a video. Went home. Wasn't a foul in it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you why. Because a real move of God cannot be explained. Right. A right. real move of God has to be experienced for right. yourself. Right. You've got to experience Him for yourself. My brother is what he said. He said, uh, verse 2, when they, when they saw some of His disciples eating bread with the fire, that's to say, unwashed hands, they found fault. That's the thing about it. Is that some people just look and they can't anything I always find wrong. Yeah. Bend over backwards, do anything you can, and somebody finds something wrong. Yeah. <laughs> give them a million dollars and get mad because you give them a hundred dollar bill. And the bad thing about negativity is it breeds negativity. Yeah. Yeah, Might one come in negative, about 25 leave negative. Yeah. Yeah. And I ain't saying I ain't never had a bad day. But well, bless God, some people just have a bad life. <laughs> <laughs> when I look around there and realize, 
that I'm not going to hell when I die because of Jesus. Amen. I'm going to tell you that on my worst day, it's still a good day. Amen. And on my worst day, it's still a good day. Amen. Matter of fact, the Bible said this. He told us, look, there was some there that got all torn up. They said, that's a foul. They found fault. I want to announce to you today after being saved, 19 years, in 19 years with Jesus, I have never found fault in the Son of God. Amen. Amen. Never, never, never. He is the spotless, blameless, pure, holy, undefiled Son of the living God. That's right, and you'll never, and I mean never, find one fault about Jesus. And the beautiful thing, the only thought about Him is me. Yep. Yep. And if you're saved, I'm going to call about Jesus. It's you. Yeah, right. Amen. And the beautiful part is, He looked over our life. Amen. Yes, looked past our life. Just to come where I was, just to come where you was. That's and the right. Bible like this. For the Pharisees were free of all the Jews, except they washed their hands off, eating up, holding the tradition of the elders. I told you, Lord, I tell you again, tradition makes God want to puke. Yeah. Matter of fact, we'll see in a minute, the Bible said if you want to paralyze the power of God, tradition paralyzes God. Well, they always do it this way. If you change up that, God can't show up in that. God forbid we don't sing just as I am for the altar call because God won't move off his throne and come down and convict the sinner. God forbid the preacher not get up and preach. God forbid it do sometimes. <laughs> Can I get a witness? Yeah. Can somebody do something with the heat? I'm about to die. Yeah. <laughs> right there, right there, right there. You know, it's one because our traditions. But I'm going to tell you, there ain't nothing wrong with tradition if tradition points you to Jesus. Right. Amen. But if your tradition takes you away from God, then it ain't worth having. Right. Amen. Amen. And here, Jesus is being confronted. I love how Jesus always confronted. He never told the first sinner how sorry he was. Never did. <coughs> this is what he did to him. I love him. <laughs> when he confronted the woman's way. He had five men and one of them went back and doesn't really forget all of them. Mm -hmm. He never attacked nobody. How you gonna win somebody with Jesus if you tell them how sorry they are? Yeah. Can I get a witness right there? Yeah. Right. I'm gonna tell, I know how sorry I am. Mom. Yeah. Mom. You ain't got to tell me. I know. Mom. You ain't got to tell me how low down I am. I know how low down I am. Can I get a witness right there? Yeah. It'll prove me no. We all know that we all got yeah. stuff we got to work on. Yeah. We all know we got yeah. stuff in our lives that ain't right. We all know we got stuff we need to change. Yeah. So how are we going to look at somebody else? Right. Right. If you can't get your own junk straight, keep your mouth right. shut up when it comes to somebody else. Yeah. And here he is, Jesus said this to him. Verse 4, they said when they come from the market, except they wash, they eat not. Many other things there be, which they have received to hold as the washing of the cups, pots, and vessels, and the tables. The Pharisees, verse 5, ascribed last and why walk not the disciples according to the tradition of the elders, but eat bread with unwashed hands. You do realize in a book of Exodus, you know what they wash their hands with? Water. They didn't use soap. They didn't use antibacterial soap. The bar line off the show that I shouldn't have watched a long time ago, but I watched, so he said what we need is to take down 
uh, antibacterial soap dispensers to put up some bacterial soap dispensers. Because <laughs> truth be told, we end up washing off what we really need. Right. Yeah, right. And getting a whole stuff on that go what we don't need. Right. When I see that, I see a picture of sin. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, sin, like his pot ham dog. They had a grill going, they couldn't have a bunch of steaks. They had a pot ham dog, and they flipped the steaks over. The steak fell onto the ground. It's called the heart. The dog come up and grabbed a hold of it, wouldn't let go of it, and cried the whole time because it burned his mouth. But it wouldn't let go of it. When I see that, I see sin. And sin can tear you up and burn you up. Why yeah. in God's way? Don't you let go of it? But we want to hold on. Yeah. Because just as things, sure as things cool off, it'll be okay. Yeah. Don't you know that old dog carried a scar for the rest of his life as a result of what he did? Yes. Don't you know as a result of sin that we'll carry around marks of those scars for the rest of our lives? Yeah, yeah man, yes, yeah. Listen to what the Bible said. And Jesus is talking to him now. Because one thing Jesus knows how to do, he knows how to talk to people. That's right. He said it. Verse 6. He said, well, you know what? He slides Isaiah. He prophesied about it. You hear the Hear the creep. Now see, we don't want to admit no more that they hypocrites in church. But you better look in the mirror and realize that everybody here today is a jerked up hypocrite. Can I get away from that? Matter of fact, it's so funny. Like the boy at the Rock busts out with his hands. But we saw you thought Rock. No. Ain't nothing in my hands. <laughs> And the guy like us. He got a bunch of hypocrites. I look around today as well and look at myself. And think, man, you're a hypocrite. Because you've got to see. If we ain't living what God says to live, we're all hypocrites. If we're not going by what God's word said, every one of us is hypocrites. And Jesus said to bunch of hypocrites. And what could they say to that? Because we're going to say that we'll get tore up over what somebody has on or get tore up over this and that. Ain't concerned about their soul. Come on. That's right. That's true. Amen. Amen. Get tore up because the preacher got a mohawk <laughs> down at that church. But could care less if anybody else is going to hell. <laughs> that is where we're at right now. That we're so unconcerned <laughs> about <laughs> souls, my brother. You do realize Jesus didn't come to tell you what to wear. He come to save your soul. That's why we got to get back, my brother, to show people the love of Jesus. If we ever see this world change. He said, you're a bunch of hypocrites. Yeah. And listen to what he said. He said, I don't know you hypocrites. He said, these people honor me with their lips. But their heart is far from me. That's why I asked you, where does your heart been alive this morning? Yeah. Because church folks are good lip service. Because lip service don't require us to do nothing. Right. Right. Amen. But when you got Jesus in your heart, then you want to do something. Amen. You won't want to keep him to yourself. No. You want to get out and show other people the love of God. He tells us they got a bunch of doggone hypocrites. He said, I know. This kind of this, this, this is how hypocritical we can kind of sometimes lose sight of what hypocrite is. Hypocrite does it. A hypocrite, 
They get drunk on Saturday night, come to church on Sunday morning, and get mad because somebody lived on somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Can I get away from that? That's what a hypocrite does. Yeah. A hypocrite seems is always okay, but yeah. for everybody else is doing it. Yeah. A hypocrite will lay out like a dog and he all night long committing adultery, come into church and get mad at somebody to tell why. That's what a hypocrite is. And the Bible said here now, and Jesus talked to him, he said, you're not a hypocrite. Because what that did was that covered every sin. Yeah. True. Mm -hmm. From A to Z. Mm -hmm. He said, whether you're a liar, whether you're a thief, whether you're a whore, yeah. whether you're a murderer, you know, you're a hypocrite. Yeah. Right. Call them all hypocrites. Listen to what he said. He goes on and said this. He said, matter of fact, he said, you do good with this. But the problem with man and woman has been a lot here. The problem is always right here. Yeah. 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 All right. I still believe in a God that when he changes you, he changes you from the inside out. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I can't stand before you and tell you that since I got saved, I ain't never want to cuss nobody out. I can't tell you that. Because I've been lying. But I stand up here and tell you that I ain't. Amen. That's right, right. I can't stand up here and tell you that I ain't never want to grab hold of somebody's throat and beat them to death. Let's just be honest this morning. Can we be real? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But I ain't done it. Why? Because I got Jesus on the inside and the things I used to do, I don't do no more. Come on. And what I had to realize was, it ain't about me. This is my name, right? Yeah, amen. And Jesus said, got to talk with him. He said, y'all good with your mouth. I said, Lord, have mercy. We got to talk to the church. We all good with our mouth. Yeah, come on. We all good at making promises. We just got a problem keeping them, can't you? Yeah. 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 So we're good at promising this, and promising that, and promising this, but we run up on keeping them. I didn't say that. I didn't promise you that. I never said that. And the whole time he's going, hypocrite, hypocrite, hypocrite. <laughs> this is what he said. He goes on down and said, How be it in vain, verse 7, do they worship me? Teaching the doctrine for commandments of Men. Yeah. He said, Wash me in vain. Now, we think for some reason that we do God a favor by coming to church. You realize you have done God no justice by showing up. No. Right. I'm going to get that, no. I, I'm gonna get that clear. Church never has and church never will, Satan man. No. Never. Never has. Never has, never will. Uh, Lord Supper never has, Lord no. Supper never will, Satan no. man. Baptism never has, Baptism never will. They is but one way hey, that I made it. My brother says, can go from death unto life. It had it through and by Jesus yeah. and came on. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's right. Man. Matter of fact, Jesus told me, he said, if an angel didn't ever come up to you preach any other God and once you've heard, let him be cursed. Mm -hmm. That's right, Mom. Because this is a lie. And nowadays, we got so many ways, so many different theories, so many different packs, all this different stuff that a man and woman can go to him and he said, there ain't but one way. The disciples said, how can we go to him? Right. You know the way Jesus said, I'm the way. That's right. Yeah. Jesus said, I'm the truth. He said, I'm the light. Yeah. That's why I'm the key and the door. I am the resurrection and the He said, I am. He said, I am. He's all we need. Yeah. Jesus is still all that we need. Jesus yeah. still yeah. He's still yeah. love. Amen. He's still able. Right. That's why I'm talking about Jesus. I ain't talking about no one. I'm talking about Jesus. God right. love. Right. I'm talking right. about right. Jesus right there. Yeah. Yeah. He's all. Yeah. Ow. Ow. And the Bible said this. Now that Jesus is talking to him, he said, look, he said, in vain you worship me. He said, how is it vain to worship? 
The Bible says this. If you got out against your brother, yeah. he said, bring your gift to the altar, yeah. lay it down, and get things right, Amen. and don't come back to this. That's right. That's right. Amen. Tradition says, they done me wrong, I'm going to do them wrong. But Jesus said, they knew you wrong, I'm going to love the hell out of you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Amen. Tradition says, kill them. Jesus said, I'll die for you. Right. 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 Tradition says, I can't forgive them. They done me wrong. And Jesus said, forgive them 70 times 7. Yeah. Yeah. Man's right. You understand my not a tradition ain't worth a dime yeah. if Jesus ain't involved in it. Right. Right. And the Bible said now that if Jesus is talking to him, he told him this as well. He said, you do these things in vain. You teach them for doctrine, the commandments of men, lay it aside, the commandment of God. Boy, ain't that where we're at right now? Yeah. We lay aside the commandments of God in the church house because we don't want to hurt people's feelings. We want our churches packed up with sinners, but we won't preach about sin. Right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, you know down there at church, the, them homosexuals are the best titles we got. So if you say anything, church is going to go under. Yeah. It's going to go under if you don't say something. Yeah. 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 Come on. That's right. Well, this is 2016. Yeah, but God is still hope. Right. God is still just. And God ain't changed the little. See, it's still see. Right. 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 And I, I use this example of my poor dad all the time. He's not here to defend himself. But if he was, that would be here tonight you can ask him about it. His face would turn blood red. And mine would say, yeah, it's true. <laughs> but every once in a while, my dad would wash the dishes. Now, to say he was not the best dad would be an understatement. <laughs> my dad's way of washing dishes is cut on hot water. <laughs> and he did this like that right there. Never looked inside of it. Never looked the outside of it. Then he turned it upside down on the table. When it got dry, I'd go over and get it. I can attest to that, right? I'm telling the truth, yes. For once, I'm telling the truth. So there you go. You can always tell what they had to eat the week before. <laughs> you went in there and got out the grave bowl, and the grave was still in and it come out the cabinet? Hey, great last week. <laughs> <laughs> if Mama Bear pisses the cornbread, you can go to the cabinet, pour the pan out, and it's still stuck around the inside of it. Well, that's what they had last week. <laughs> because Dad Gift was not washing dishes. But when Dad got done, it looked good on the outside. But the inside was nice. You don't understand that's what sin does. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's, that's true, man. That's true. Sin makes the outside look good. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's okay. Go ahead. Everybody do it. Looks good on the outside, and the whole time it's the destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yes, it yeah. is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That inside is a wreck because of sin. Yes, it is. That's why Jesus starts. Where the mess is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Not where the mess is. Yeah. Jesus goes on the inside, kind of like a pumpkin. When you clean a pumpkin out, you clean it out from the inside out. And then you work on the outside. Yeah. See, that's why everybody ain't on the same level with Jesus. Right. You, you, you understand it, right? Because some of us have still got some junk on the inside. 
that God's looking to clean us. Right. Yeah, that's true. But you got everybody fooled because this. Yeah. Yeah. Now it didn't take real long. After me, I, I, it would come again. I'd go in her house, I'd look through the dishes. <laughs> If they want this again. <laughs> and it wasn't like that. Mama never said enough to them, but Mama would go in and wash them behind <laughs> To make sure that they really got clean. Yes. That's the difference between the world mm -hmm. and what the world has to offer and what Jesus has to offer. Because the world makes everybody think you got your act together. Right. But Jesus shows everybody that you got your act together. Right. 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 And this is what about this. And Jesus is talking to them now. He was talking to them about the cups, talking to them about the dishes, everything about worshiping in vain. He said this. He says washing pots and cups and many other things that you do. Yeah. Most of the stuff that we knew was unpleasing to Jesus, nobody knows but him. Right, right, right. That's true. Yeah. Because most of the stuff that we do not pleasing to him, we do it when ain't nobody around. Yeah. yeah. That's right. It's true. When we think nobody don't see. Mm -hmm. When we think nobody don't hear. And when we think nobody don't hear. It's funny because Jesus knows everything on the mm -hmm. Yes, he does. Yes. And still loves you anyway. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. See what we know about others keeps us sometimes in a certain way. But Jesus said, I love you in spite of The best way for us to cure the ills of this world is just love each other in spite of it. I use that one verse, love covers the multitude of sins. Yeah. Love. Because what Jesus does he gives a man or woman a get over spirit. Yeah. Okay. Where you can look past and you can get over somebody's sin and love them anyway. Yeah. And realize if not for the grace of God, you'd be just like Amen. Yeah. Let's stay. Yeah. 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 I don't know where your heart lies this morning. Only the Lord does. But do plead that if you're here and you don't know Jesus, <coughs> no better day or time to make a life of God than today. Matter of fact, if you're here and you got out against your brother or your sister, no better time to get over than now. Try. Whatever you need from Jesus, I ask you, just come talk to him about it. Need somebody to pray with you, let them know to pray with you. But whatever you need, bring it to the Lord. Go ahead, brother.